in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the five easiest characters to play in Overwatch. Now, I'm not saying these are the best characters and the go-to characters to play, but these characters require little to none mechanical skill, and you should be able to master even probably within a couple hours of grinding the character. Obviously, this video is opinion-based. You might think a character is easier than another character, and so on, but this is just genuinely the easiest five characters you can pick up. For the players that have flexibility, I've included at least one tank and one support, so they're not all going to be on DPS. We're going to mix it up and add in healers and tanks as well. If you do go on to enjoy the video, then make sure to drop a like as that helps out the channel and the support on the last video has been amazing and I wanna keep that up. The list is in no particular order. So just because a character isn't at fifth place doesn't make it easier than the character at first place. These are just five characters that I've picked that I would recommend and are easy to learn and be good with. Number five, we have Soldier 76. He has his assault rifle that you hold down RT to shoot with. The only skill when using this gun is the recoil. If you just hold the shoot button and don't control the recoil, his aim will just go up like so. So you need to just maintain your aim to keep the recoil to a minimum. He has good mobility and has unlimited sprint with his tactical sprint. This is good for taking high ground, going on flanks and just being independent. I forgot to mention with his assault rifle, there's obviously fall off damage. So at longer ranges, he does a lot less damage. He's good at close and medium range. With his weapon, he also has something called Helix Rockets, where if you do impact damage, it can do a lot of damage. But this takes quite a bit of skill to get used to, to predict where your enemies are going to be. You can also shoot and it does splash damage near the enemy like so. As you saw, it done a bit of damage. Obviously, if you directly hit them, it will do way more. His next ability is, if you get low on health, like I just have, you put down a biotic pad or a field, a field mine, whatever it's called, and it will heal you and your allies up. So you don't have to rely so much on healing if you haven't got the bestest of teams. The last thing I want to cover with Soldier is his ultimate ability. It basically gives you aimbot and it locks onto the targets for you. Bearing in mind, you can do headshots manually, which do more damage, so you can aim for the head to increase your damage. One last advanced tip for Soldier is, if you see high ground and you can't get to it, for example, here we can walk up to it, but I'm not gonna walk up to it. If you look at the ground, jump and helix rocket at the same time, it boosts you up, so you can get into different positions, like so. See how it kind of booped me up? I jumped and then it booped me up. That's how you want to do it and master that skill. So that is Soldier76 coming in at the fifth spot. Very easy to learn and is a good hero in my opinion. Coming in at number four, we have a support character in Brig. Brig, like I said, is a support character. She has a shield with 250 HP, which you can bash enemies with that deal damage. By doing this and hitting an enemy, you also heal your teammates around you that are in the radius. Her melee is a swing. This also obviously deals damage and heals your teammates around you. Brig is a character where you need to stay close to your tanks and DPS in order to receive the most out of her. How she heals also as well is something called repair pack in which you just give to your teammates and it slowly heals them up for a certain amount of HP. And last but not least, she has Whiplash, in which she can boop enemies away, which deal a lot of damage and also heal the teammates around you. So for example, I whack that enemy and it starts healing my teammate. She's all about playing in with your team. And then last but not least, her ultimate will give you and the teammates around you shield. And this shield lasts for a certain amount of time until it's either been shot down or just expires. And the team gains a speed boost as well. So like I said with Brig, very hardly any mechanical skill at all. You do not need to aim with this character and you can get a lot of value out if you play around your team. Number three, we have Roadhog. This character has 700 HP. His primary fire is a close range sort of shotgun type thing. And and then his secondary fire is for more medium and long range and it shoots like a big, you know, you know what I mean. So remember, use your primary fire at close range and use your secondary fire at medium to long range. With Hog, you have a hook in which you can technically one shot little squishy characters. What you want to do is you want to melee, shoot and then punch. Obviously these bots have less health so I can just one shot them anyway. But with a character that has 200 HP, you hook, immediately shoot and punch straight after and it will kill them. Like Soldier 76, he has an ability to self manually heal, which is called Take a Breather. It heals you up and you take less damage while doing so. So he's very tanky. And then his ultimate is called Whole Hog. You activate this and you manually press RT to fire 
and it boops enemies away or even at close range deals a lot of damage. Again, Hog doesn't really mechanically take a lot of skill. He's not one of the harder characters to play in the game. He has a lot of health, sustain, and you can kind of solo carry with him if you get good. The thing you just want to practice is getting accurate with your hooks. You know, being able to being able to 180 and hook opponents is very good. So once you master the hook with him, you become you can become really good. Number two on our list is Reaper. He is a close range character. You want to use him at close range because he has dual wield shotguns. This is what his primary fire looks like. So very good at close range. He also has a wraith mode in which you're invulnerable to taking damage. So when you're like this, you cannot take any damage and it gives you a speed boost so you can get away from enemies. But that's not what it's only used for. He also has a teleport ability in which you can teleport forwards to the high grounds, back if you're in trouble as well. So it is also at an escape mechanism as well. As well if you just want to flank and play aggressive and chase after an opponent. Uh, one tip I want to suggest with Reaper is when you shoot all your bullets like so, when you hit zero, instead of manually reloading like this, it takes some time, right? With Reaper, you can actually instantly go into Wraith modes, cancel, and it's a lot quicker and you just continue shooting again. And then you have Death Blossom, which is his ultimate ability. Again, close range, will start spinning and deal a lot of damage. So like Reaper, again, not mechanically hard to play or master and is also a good option because he's a pretty decent DPS as well. Another easy character, again, as a DPS character, is Torbjorn. This is what his primary fire looks like. So as you can see, when you shoot it, it dinks down. So it's like a projectile-based hero. So you've got to like aim a bit above to get full potential, which is the only mechanical skill thing about him is predicting your projectiles. His secondary fire is better at close range. It shoots a lot of pellets like that. He also has an ability called Overload in which he gains more health and deals a lot more damage and shoots faster. This is only temporarily. Then last but not least, he has a turret in which he can place down. It has a drop off range, like it doesn't have unlimited range, but it has very long range as you can see. It does a lot of damage and automatically locks on to the opposite team and it also comes with 250 HP and you can rebuild it by whipping out the hammer and slapping it. Then his ultimate is something called Molten Core. It's like lava. If people step on it, they slowly burn and it can deal a lot of damage. Those are five easy characters and decent characters that you can learn within a click of your fingers. If you did enjoy again, make sure to drop a like and let me know how you get along with these characters if you do try them. Make sure to subscribe for more Overwatch content and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.